Well, the heat and lack of rain are creating prime conditions for wildfires across Oregon and Washington. Elise Haas met with the Forest Service to find out how they're responding and preparing for the increased fire danger right now, Elise. Ken and Jenny, some areas of the Northwest are already impl implementing campfire restrictions, limiting, limiting them to develop campgrounds only where there are firings, which are designed to keep those fires and embers contained. Some areas are also closing dispersed camping already, which is two to three weeks sooner than normal. This is an effort to reduce human activity in at-risk areas. The Forest Service is considering bringing in some education teams this year to get the message out for a safe summer. And the fire prevention specialist for the Northwest says they've brought in fire resources from outside of our region to help with wildfires already. It's becoming more common that we're having more of these large fires at one time and it's really uh, decreasing our, uh, our air quality and our visual quality of our air. So, uh, you know, I hope that people feel that from last year and uh, take that extra bit of caution and think about what they're doing before uh, they get too far into having a fire or doing something that could cause a fire. To do your part to not accidentally start a wildfire, follow campfire bans, keep them in those fire rings and put them dead out. And be sure not to drive over dry grass that can spark a fire and make sure that your trailer chains are not dragging on the road. Those can send sparks flying off the highway as well. Target shooting is not allowed in wildland areas and fireworks are illegal on Bureau of Land Management areas and national land. And of course, this year we are heading into the holiday weekend this year. So they're really asking everybody to think wisely on July 4th and the days surrounding it and to not take any risks. Ken. All right, thank you very much, Elise. Uh, time now is 4:37. Let's get right.